welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. In today's video, I'm back with another Shein haul. You guys have been absolutely loving my Shein hauls recently, and I've been loving doing them, and I found some absolute gems, so of course I wanted to do another one for you. I'm so excited about the pieces that I've picked out today. Some of them look incredible. Some of them are a little bit different for Shein, so I'm quite excited to try some different things out. I've got a coat, I've got a cardigan, I've, of course, of course I've got dresses. <laughs> Before I get started, I wanna say a massive thank you to Shein for gifting me these items. All the links to everything I try on will be in the description box down below, along with the sizes. They are in XL sizes, like 4X, 5X, and rather than me try and convert them on the top to the UK size, I thought I'd just include all the sizes in the description box down below. So if you wanna see what size I'm wearing, just check the box. I've been so impressed with Shein recently since they launched their new Fit Plus range, which is their extended plus size range. Range. For a long time they've done up to like a size 26, but for those of us who have been above a size 26, Shein hasn't been accessible for us. And now they go up to, is it a 36 or a 38? I can't remember, but I'll uh, pop it on screen. I just can't remember off the top of my head, but that is great to see because not many brands cater for people of those sizes. I am between a 28 and a 30, sometimes need a 32, sometimes need a 26. You just, you know, clothing sizes I don't need to tell you I'm sure you already know about the struggle and the stress <laughs> so like I said I'll pop all the sizes down below but I am between a 28 and a 30 normally and I am 5'9 in height <laughs> I don't know what that was <laughs> but I just want to get started because honestly I put this dress on and I was like this is me this is me in a dress this is just this is just everything. So this first dress is absolutely stunning. It is gorgeous. It's got a black background with these really bright red and blue flowers. It is a, is it a smock style dress? I'm not sure. I describing things you know I shouldn't be doing this I'm rubbish at describing things so I don't know what I'm doing here um but we do have a hem here and then we have a dropped hem but as you can see it's so like loose and flowy it's not one of those ones that are tight or constricting or restricting or whatever the phrase is it fits beautifully I I could have maybe got the size down but I actually love how big and flowy this is I think yeah you can see even where the hem is on the boob area I could have probably gone for a size down but I, I just I love the look of these dresses when they're super oversized and flowy the hem does sit on my boobs rather than under them which is a little bit strange like I can pull it down but as soon as I move it comes up a little bit but I don't I don't hate it I don't mind it and I love the little v-neck collar and the full length sleeves. I think this is gonna be gorgeous for autumn. We do have an elasticated cuff and the length. These kind of dresses are always short on me. Like they always come up super short, but this length is just perfect. If it was warmer, I could wear it with some knee high boots and a little bit of leg out, or I could wear it with some tights and wear it with some cute ankle boots or dress it down with some trainers. It's super versatile. I love this. I literally think this might be my favorite thing that I've got from Shein from all my hauls. Like, if you know me guys, this is a me dress, is it not? <laughs> no, I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I think, oh, with a really cute necklace, maybe some little hoop earrings. Oh, I love this. Definitely, definitely recommend. I'm a little bit obsessed, in case you can't tell. So this next dress is, oh, it's interesting. I can definitely say I have never, ever, ever had a dress like this. I am not going to be ex able to explain this fabric to you. It is, it's almost like, it's almost like a leather look fabric, but it's not like as thick as like faux leather is, but it's certainly not thin. And it's like, almost feels plasticky, but I feel like that's not a fair word. I'm going to have to see. It's just the most bizarre fabric. It's 100% polyester, it says, but I have never come across polyester like this. This is, it's interesting. I thought, I think, when I picked this, that it was going to be more of a silky kind of dress, silky kind of fabric, but this is, it's a thicker fabric and it is metallic. I thought it was going to be like, Sil um, silky shiny but this is metallic like can you see can you see the shine it's almost like it's more of a raincoat than a dress but I, d I don't know about this one guys I don't hate it surprisingly I don't hate it but I don't think I love it either 
Um, so it is a real wrap dress, but there's loads of fabric underneath, so you can really make yourself secure. We've got full sleeves with these giant cuffs, and it's got a um, massive like lapel collar, and then loads of the ribbon to tie, so it was really easy to put on. And again, a great length. I just... I don't know. I'm really, I'm really taken aback by this dress. I, part of me kind of likes it, but most of me kind of hates it. I don't know. I, this is what, it's just, it's just not what I was expecting. I'll show you the back. I think it looks a bit cuter from the back. Oh, but then also it's giving me dressing gown vibes. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm, can you tell I'm, I'm just wasn't expecting this situation. Um, so you'll have to let me know. I think, I, th I think, I think I don't like it. I think, but I love the colour. You're gonna, you're really gonna have to help a girl out with this one because it's so different. I've never ever ever seen a dress like this with this kind of, obviously I've seen wrap dresses, come on, um, but I've never seen a dress in this kind of fabric, like, I don't know what this is, I don't, you're gonna have to tell me because I just don't think I'm gonna be able to make up my mind, but it's warm, it's getting warm, <laughs> I think it's probably a no, but please, please let me know what you think because it's a no isn't it, I think it's a no. Let me know what you think. Is this not so freaking cute? Oh my gosh, look at this fabric. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this is gorgeous. It's a like mossy muted green background with these beautiful, beautiful flowers on. I almost thought there was birds, but it's just like a darker, darker flower. This is gorgeous. We've got a bit of an interesting neckline, so it's quite square and then it comes into a bit of a, a really like extended v-neck. Um, by extended I mean like v-necks are normally like this, it's like that. <laughs> it's got again an elasticated cuff with a full length sleeve. We do have a dropped waistband, dropped waistband, dropped hem down here, but again it's not coming in in any way shape or form, it just looks quite cute like a little ruffle detail. This is definitely the right size for me, you can see that it fits on my waist and it's almost, it's not tight but it kind of fits just perfectly <laughs> on the edge of maybe being a bit too tight but there's loads and loads of room around the tummy and it fits my chest wonderfully i am so obsessed this is just so cute this color this color is everything i'm loving this let me know what you think oh my gosh i yes the first dress this dress oh this is getting me excited <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah, I love this. And the neckline, like this is a way to have like quite a lot of skin on show without it being too revealing because like I feel fully covered up in the booby area, but I've got more skin on show because the neckline is so open and I quite like that. I really do like that. <gasps> what do you think? It does have a zip down the side, one of the sides, I can't find it. I think this side, it's like a hidden zip, um, but I just put it on over my head and I had no problem, but it does have that option. We don't have pockets or anything like that, so that would have been a bonus, but it is just, oh guys, is this not gorgeous? Mm, I'm, yeah, I'm so excited. Love this. Definitely, again, recommend. And I think I'm going to have to play around with this neckline a little bit and see if I can find some other pieces with this, like, more of an open neckline because I really like it. Next up, I did grab a coat, so I thought I'd try it with this dress. I've never had a coat from Shein before, and I just thought, you know, coats are harder to get right. Like, I like a good quality coat, and I thought, let's just test it out and see, see if Shein can make good coats. Now, obviously, I'm only testing one, so this won't be like the deciding decision-making process <laughs> of all time, um, but it'll hopefully give me a bit of an idea. So it's a cute, cream neutral checkered coat with a pink lining it is a bit longer but not super long and it's quite a thin coat so it isn't structured it is a bit thinner but it is lined which is good because sometimes sometimes coats come and they're not lined and they just feel so cheap and low quality okay let's see so oh that's cute i like that it needs a bit of an iron Oh, look at that length with this dress. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> this is cute. Does it do up? Did I get it in the right size for it doing up? 
Um, not quite. I probably should have sized up for it to do up, but it looks so cute open. I think I, like I could make it do up, but it would be tighter than I would be looking for. But I think this is the perfect transitional coat where you want something to keep you a bit warmer as it's starting to get a bit colder, but you're not, not looking for something to make you super, super warm like you'll need in winter. One thing is it doesn't have pockets, which for a coat I'm going to say is unacceptable. Coats have to have pockets. It should be on the entry requirements for an item naming itself a coat. I don't think it's the best quality coat I've ever seen. For what it is, I'm quite impressed and I'll definitely try out some more coats because I've got winter coats and then I've got like summery springy jackets i don't have a lot of in between so this is going to be perfect if we're walking like when we've got max we're looking after the dog when i'm walking him in the park something like that just needs pockets guys just needs pockets but other than that i'm quite impressed for my first coat and yeah i think i think i might wear this today actually we're going out as soon as i finished filming um we're gonna go go to the shops go get some food go to the arcade this evening and it's I think this is the perfect day for this thickness of coat. So yeah, I'm impressed. Work to be done, but for a good, it's a good start. Shall we just keep going with the jacket pieces? Because I also picked up a cardigan. Now, I don't know if this is me. It's very bold and very bright, but it reminded me of some of the Daisy Street cardigans that you can get on ASOS. And I just wanted to test Shein knitwear and see what a Shein cardigan had to offer. So I thought I would give this a try and see. It feels, um not too thick but it's quite a tight knit knit <laughs> it feels um like relatively nice but not the softest so i think it's like a middle of the middle of the line situation let's see what it's like on okay so this is what it looks like on obviously i wouldn't put it with this dress i never ever 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 do cardigans up but you could see i definitely could like it would definitely button up i it's cute you know it's different I, d I don't know if it's me i'm not entirely sure you'll have to let me know like what would i wear this with maybe like um i don't know what what colors would i wear this what would i <laughs> i don't know how i would dress this but i am impressed and i just thought it was so similar to some of the daisy street pieces that i had to try i think you can tell maybe with the quality of some of the embroidery that it's not the neatest like some of the yellow stitching is like spilling out into the green and the edges aren't necessarily the best so i don't think that this is the high 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 quality kind of piece but it does make me excited to try some other pieces i think i need to do a knitwear haul because i'm just getting obsessed with all these like chunky knit dresses that i'm seeing everyone wearing so i'm thinking maybe like a h&m chunky knitwear haul needs to happen soon so let me know if you want to see that um i'm definitely not thinking this kind of knitwear i'm thinking like neutral cream stones that kind of thing maybe a couple of blacks in there <laughs> so let me know if you want to see that because i am i'm craving that in my wardrobe but yeah I, I don't know if it's me but it does make me want to try out some more knitwear pieces from shein okay hear me out i know it's not christmas time yet and this is 100% a Christmas dress, but I liked it, I wanted it, so I got it. <laughs> As Ariana Grande would say, I want it, I got it. <laughs> this is a velvety dress that comes down, it's not floor length, it kind of comes in the middle of my legs, so it's a really cute length. It is quite a straight up and down dress for me, but I don't feel like it's hugging too much. Like this, it is on the edge of being too clingy for, for my preference, but it is, I think it's okay. It is a wrap dress. It's a faux wrap, like it's sewn in here, um, but it doesn't have the most amount of wrap material. So you would just have to be a little bit careful. Like maybe if I twist it a bit, I'm not sure. You just have to be a little bit careful. I would wear some chub rub shorts underneath anyway so I can conserve my dignity. Now, I'm not normally a velvet fan and it's still like the touch of it freaks me out, but I do think there's nothing more Christmassy than a burgundy velvet dress. It has a bit more of a cowl neck fit um, and the straps are adjustable. So I think I would need to play around with the straps a little bit because I think it needs to just come up 
a little bit more like all around so you're not seeing my dress my um, bra underneath but it's great that you've got the option to do that i think this is a great option for a christmas party it's making me so excited for christmas guys it's making me unbelievably excited for christmas i'm doing vlogmas this year and let me know if you want me to do a like Christmas dress haul or something like that um because I could be well up for that I think I did something similar last year I did like a boohoo Christmassy dress haul so let me know if you want me to do that again because I think you enjoyed that last year and I definitely did very very different for me in so many ways in the shape in the fabric just everything about it but I feel kind of great and I think once I've got the straps where they need to be what do we think? Is this like, is this working for me? It's very different, so I need your opinion. But I feel kind of, I feel kind of great. I definitely just need to do something about this slit though, because otherwise, knowing me, my dignity is going to go. I'm going to get myself demonetized in real life. Um, but yeah, hmm, let me know what you think. I know it's too early. I know it's too early for Christmas, but it's, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it in the air. Michael Bublé is coming out of his box. The Christmas decorations are in the shop. It's nearly, like Halloween's nearly gone and done and we can forget about autumn as much as I love it and really delve into the Christmas season because Christmas, <sighs> Christmas is my favourite time of year. So yeah, <laughs> let me know what you think before I drift off and talk too much about Christmas and annoy those naysayers who say that I can't talk about Christmas in October but hey, it's my channel and makes me happy, so I'll talk about Christmas all year long. <laughs> right, let, let's move on this time before I blabber for a million more years. Okay, so this is the second to last item and sadly, I don't think it's doing it for me, which is hard for me to admit because you know I love my polka dots, but it's just, I think it's the shape. So we've got a polka dot section here and then a flowery um, section down here. The, the same kind of happens on the arms, like it's polka dots into flowers with an elasticated cuff. We've got a V-neck line. It's just for me, it's too much of a like, is it tunic where we've got no like coming in at the waist? I need that, I feel like I need things to come into my waist to give me a bit of shape, a bit of definition, or that's what I prefer at least. So this just isn't necessarily doing it for me. It isn't like bad, like it's a really great length. And I actually definitely prefer it from the back. Like I think from the back that looks so cute. But from the front, I just, I just need it to come in here even just a little bit, just to show just a bit of shape. That's that's just, it's my preference, it's what I prefer. But if you do like this more straight up and down kind of look, I think it's really cute. Again, I'm so impressed with the lengths. You know, as tall girls, we struggle <laughs> with the length sometimes, like the likes of Boohoo are notorious for their dresses just being ridiculously short on us. So for me, this is a great length. And I do like the concept. It's just, yeah, I, I need a bit more shape in my dresses. So unfortunately, this one has to be a no for me. But like I said, I don't think it's bad. It's not bad at all and it fits really wonderfully. I think I've got the sizing pretty much perfect in this haul, um, which is good because it can be sometimes hard to figure out your sizing at places like Shein where they don't use like UK sizes and they use like 4X, 5X, that sort of thing. So I think I've definitely figured out my size at the moment, but I think, yeah, this one's just not for me. Now onto the last item, which I have to admit, I ummed and ahed about for ages I couldn't decide if I wanted to pick this and I'm so glad I did this is so different for me like so so different for me and I just wasn't sure like it's very straight up and down it's not the kind of pattern or design or colors that I normally go for but I am really liking this it's a really nice shirt dress it doesn't necessarily feel like shirt fabric it's a little bit softer than that and it's got just the tiniest it, it doesn't feel stretchy but it feels bouncy i don't know if that makes any sense to anyone <laughs> it has full length sleeves that you can button up um i've not got them buttoned at the moment but just to give you an idea of the like a sense of the room that would be available if you did it has buttons all the way up and down and it has a floppy um collar like it's not structured and it's a great length Oof, <laughs> I am so impressed with the lengths. Like it does have another button here. Let me do that up because um, I missed that one. I, 
I love this. It is a little bit tighter than I would tend to go for on the tummy. So I think maybe if I just sized up, it would be a little bit better because when I sit down, because I carry so much weight in my tummy area, this area really does expand. So whilst it fits perfectly on my tummy stood up, when I, in fact, let me sit down. Can you see? Oh, it wasn't done up in that bit. <laughs> Um, but can you see it kind of bunches up a little bit, gapes a little bit. Not awful, to be honest, but just not my preference. It did come with a little waist tie and it does have little holes. This is, this is long. <laughs> I'm going to have no problems tying this. I like that it's longer because one, it's practical and two, I like it to have a little bit of length. I think it just looks a bit better. So let's give this a tie. I think I'm going to prefer it without the waistband. Oh, actually... I kind of like it this way too. Okay, it's like having two dresses in one. Like they feel quite different to me. I do. Oh, oh. Do you prefer it with the waistband or without the waistband? Because I'm loving both. I I need to get more shirt dresses like this. This will be perfect for work. This is like a work dress to a T for me. I would. Yeah. Oh. Okay. What do you think? It's a very different pattern for me. Very different. But, well, I think you already know, I love it. <laughs> so guys, that is everything. And I have to say, I think this is by far, by far been my most successful Shein haul ever. Yeah, I'm gonna say ever. <laughs> the only fail, absolute fail, well, I think there was two fails. There was the dress I had on before this, and that was just because I didn't like the shape of it on me. And I'm gonna have to call that metallic pink wrap dress a fail, unfortunately. I'm sure there's someone out there that that is the dream dress for, but it just isn't me. But everything else, I am, well done, Shein. <laughs> or well done me for making great picks because, you know, we've got, to, we've got to give ourselves some praise sometimes. <laughs> you will have to let me know what you think. Honestly, guys, I've been so impressed. And do let me know if you want to see another Shein haul soon because... I don't know, I think there's so much more to explore and I cannot wait to show you. They're constantly coming out with new things, so I'm really excited to see what's coming. But yeah, oh, need to stop looking in the mirror, I'm getting distracted by myself. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye!